in a 2025 Winnebago Echo. I have never seen this exact one in person before and I so far am so blown away and cannot wait to check it out and show you guys. Yesterday I reached out to you guys over on the community tab on our YouTube page and said we're going to an RV show what do you guys want us to look at and so many of you guys responded with B pluses so that is what we're doing today and we're starting with what I think is going to be my absolute favorite this Winnebago Echo. And what's unique about this Echo is it is the 2025 23B on the Mercedes chassis. And I'm going to try not to gush over how amazing this thing is <laughs> and just give you the facts. We all know that his words of choice usually are awesome and cool. Hopefully I can follow the same rules though, because just by glancing at this, I am super impressed guys. Well, there is one piece that I am not impressed by, but we'll get to that later. Okay, let's get going and start in the back. Starting here in the back, you have your two twin beds, some great pop-out windows that are nice and insulated. You've got some overhead storage here. And this does convert into one large bed if you'd like. It also has lots of storage options, both on this side and this side, with some additional storage here. Wow, that's deep under both sides same same only different same, same. all right give it the bob test give it the bob test let's see okay i could totally do this this is wow. amazing wow oh my word so one thing that's nice i don't know if they do this in other echoes or in the ford chassis but they have this bed system underneath the mattress wow it makes it so comfortable because these are pretty thin mattresses but with that underneath very nice and you have this nice privacy curtain to separate the front from the back. Okay. The other I... nice thing that that does is it is fairly, you know, thick and well insulated. Oh, your air conditioner return is here in the center. So this is one of the big differences in the Mercedes versus the Ford that they have the air conditioner centrally located versus over your head here. But, but you have little... The air conditioning is ducted. So oh. you still get nice, good airflow back here. That's pretty cool. But you keep it cool. I absolutely love the two twin beds, the fact that it converts to one bed, that it's a separate bedroom, or at least it seems to be a separate bedroom. There's plugs in here. Like I am loving it, but I am wondering, is anything in here other than the, these vents like different, this being a 2025 versus the 24 or 23 that you can tell Bob? So this is the first year that the Echo has been offered on the Mercedes chassis. So this is all different. Oh, shows how much I know, guys. Moving on up here, since I'm now the galley man, according to some of you on our channel. <laughs> but anyway. So we have our galley. It is a very nice, deep, large sink, and it has this nice cover that you can take off or move. It doesn't vibrate. I think that's cool too, that you can have like half of it open and use it. It's kind of a neat idea. Up above, you have your convection oven microwave. So nice, good, large size, very useful with some storage up here on top. And, and some overhead storage for pots, pans, cups, what have you. What I love though, don't you feel so comfortable? Like as far as height goes in here? I do. I, I've got plenty of headroom in here, even at 6'1". Yeah. So. Okay. Let's see, why is this one square? What is this? This is kind of... It looks like an extender. Looks like a cutting board. That's really interesting. Not sure why that's in here. If anybody has this one, let us know. And this should be your induction stove. Induction stove top. So obviously you can take this out, put it on your counter, take it outside, use it wherever you'd like. So right. pretty cool feature. 
And yeah. all of the Winnebago's have these wonderful shades. I just love them. You know, two part yep. blackout versus screens. And then of course, all the pop out double insulated acrylic windows. Okay. So here on the driver's side in front of the shower, you have the refrigerator and it has a nice little freezer compartment up top. Love it. Lots of shelving with a drawer. We have the keys so we can drive away. And on top of that, you have some more storage. This could be like a little pantry. And then you've got your some of your electrical controls. So you've got your inverter, your uh, like temperature controls, and your solar charger. So let's show Hillary's favorite part, the bathroom. <laughs> it's not my favorite part. It's not my favorite part, guys. It just happens to be something that I'm passionate about because I do want to be able to fit in it. I am six feet tall. Here we go. We're opening it. At first, you're in what I'm going to call the toilet room. And guys, have you ever noticed all of the bathrooms that I go in, this much of me usually you can see? <laughs> that is Bob's camera work. I usually get his full body. We're going to see today if he does better. What do you think? Bob, can you see more of me than normal? You can see more. I'm doing better. <laughs> I'm pinned against the wall. It's fine. All right. It's true. Okay. So I'm in here. Okay. Sitting. Whoop, there you go. Usually you don't even see the toilet. Oh, there you are. See, I'm learning. He's learning. There it is. Look, look. Yeah. You fit nicely in there. Yeah. You have those, a window behind you too. I do have a window. So anyways, you got all the, the nice shades in here. I love this. Feels, I, I guess I definitely want that shot. I don't know. Feels great. I, what else can you say? The sink is over here. We're not real fans of having a sink in a bathroom, but if you're going to, I mean, this is preference because it's not completely over my lap. It's over here. So, you know, yeah, nice Looks mirror, good. a little bit of storage, you know, let's go to the shower room. Yep. Okay. It slides over. It stays there. It just stays. Yep. It might have a clip at the top. It does have a clip at the top. <laughs> it is a terrible shot to try to get. Okay. I am now in the shower. Oh, guys, this feels nice and roomy. I love it. You have a shower curtain. Although I would probably close the door. Wonderful shower head. Love it. <laughs> oh Just my joking. goodness. Just joking. Okay. But I do like how I feel like I can wash and be in here. And you've got plenty of room, that nice grating so that the water drains. I mean, come on. Yeah. So up here is one of the upgrades that I really like in this Echo model. So you've got this table, which I, I gotta see if I can remember exactly how to make it work, but like this comes down. Hang on. And what then are actually you doing? this can convert into a seat so you can put things this way. What? And there's some extra cushions in the back that you can put here so you can have like a bench and face each other. Stop it. Then you can have your table here between you so you oh. can face each other while you're having a meal. Which, hold on, the table is right there. We're not going to get it out because that would be too much work. That's right. But this also then obviously can convert this way. Because so while, you're, while you're driving down the road, you can then pop this up, put this in, flip this up. And now you have a table that you can work at, sit at while you're you know, driving down the road or whatever. So okay. here's some additional storage up top. Moving around to the above the cab, you've got some storage on each side, plus your TV and sound bar. Mm -hmm. And then behind the passenger seat, you have more storage and another seat. Uh -huh. And I don't think there's nothing, this one doesn't do anything fancy other than you can fill in this gap 
and use it as a bed. Really? So this converts into like a third bed. No way. It does. And this is, you know, the Mercedes chassis has all of the bells and whistles, the nice console. So, sorry guys, we can't show you every single compartment on this model because the show is really busy and this is a hot commodity. But back here, you've got all of this amazing storage and I already started with the amazings. Uh, but uh, you can put things back here, you know, skis, bikes, all sorts of stuff. Great storage option. And then here on this side, you have your water controls. So they've made some upgrades uh, compared to the current uh, Echo models. So there's some really cool features in there. And then this unit does have uh, a propane generator, so you don't have to fully rely on solar. I'm a huge fan of that. And then let's see, I believe that is, okay, this is the pump for the shower. So it actually pumps it from the shower back to the gray tank. And then this is your electrical system here with your lithium batteries and it does have the additional, I guess. It's a four season, wing. isn't it? This is a four season, but it has the bat wing awning that then goes 270 degrees around the back here. So cool. So these normally retail for 242,000 and it's $60,000 on sale today, <laughs> which is a lot off, but it's still quite a bit at 178,000, but it's a pretty good buy. No. I don't think that's a good buy. That's the one piece that I was like, uh, I don't know if I like that part about the Echo. But everything else I love, but $178,000, it's like a freaking brand new house. I don't know, but I do love it. to the next B plus we are in the Integra Condor 22T and this is a 2024. It's very similar to the Echo layout but has some very distinct differences. Ooh. So and... let's start in the back. Oh, okay. The first thing I notice is it smells brand new. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's very similar to the Echo. I mean, it's almost the exact same thing. I, I think this might have been an open. Right, thing that's open. And the Echo, but these are well, cabinets. But what's look, that? Oh, they have Starlink in here. Yeah, oh, they have Starlink. Very nice. Okay. What's above you? This feels like it could be an air conditioner. Right, so, and what's on the back wall? A window, which was not on the Echo. Okay, okay. Very good, very Another good. Another storage. Screens. Same windows. Here we go. The angle's gonna be ugly, but who cares? <laughs> okay, oh. All right, you know what? <sighs> Let's see those feet, all the way out, okay. <laughs> Oh, wait, here. Okay. All the way out. There you go. See, All right. you fit just fine. I fit perfectly. I absolutely love it. I just love the idea of a separate bedroom. Anything else that I should Nope. Point I, think, out? I think you should. Lots of storage. Let me slip my shoes back on. Oh, it just smells so nice in here. Okay, moving on to the storage. All right. Nice deep storage. Nice deep drawer. And what's that bottom out. one? Um, which one? Right by your feet. Oh, this one? Another drawer. So these are all drawers. Same, same. Same, Only same. Other side. Only different. And then you got another storage. Okay. And then two steps. This makes one bed. Yada, yada, yada. And there you have the bedroom.
in. All right, moving on to the bathroom. Oh, this is quite a bit different. Oh, so first thing I noticed right away is magnetic uh, stop for the door. So that's pretty cool. Separates the bedroom. Kept, separates everything. So in here, you've got your nice little toilet and got plenty of room to kind of do what you need to do. Shower. Where is the shower? It is right here. I'm standing in the shower. Oh. So here's the shower head. We've got actually plenty of room to actually do, the, you know, take a shower and I'm raised up. So I'm assuming that that's for the drain and everything. And then you have this. So I am a huge fan of these. Okay. Self-cleaning, drying. I think I prefer this bathroom over and the Echo bathroom. It has this nice little window in here as well. Very cool. Hold on. Okay. Uh, it has an exhaust fan here. So you can basically, you know, turn that on off right here. It has a separate sink. Looks like it's secured down for transport. We'd never use that. Never use it. And you've got a nice little medicine cabinet here with a drying rack. Oops. This nice little drying rack. Didn't know there was still one more thing. And, and you didn't even see the what? toilet. What, 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 what? And it has a nice cassette toilet. This is the same thing that we have and it's sealed off so you can't open it. But and that, oh, is that a different toilet than was in the Echo? Uh, no, I think it's the same. I think it's the same toilet. Oh, because so, I didn't show them. So this bathroom is about the same size, but you don't have the like sink shower twisty thing. It's just all in one. Yeah. So let's move on to the galley onto the driver's side. So starting up here. Oh, hang on. Hold on. Close the bathroom. You've got some overhead storage and I do like these little latches. Those are kind of nice. You've got the same size refrigerator as the Echo with your freezer compartment, your shelving, storage, what have you. So you have your convection microwave grill overhead. You say grill, huh? It does say grill. Okay. I don't know why you me. grill in there, but uh, here you've got some nice storage. Oh, you have your induction cooktop, which you obviously can use on your countertop. Let's see. Some more storage. And then what else? Oh, you do have a speaker that fits here. And then you have your sink, which is pretty good size. I think it might be the same size sink with a nice little wood cover. Just more storage. And then of course you've got your nice little window with your shades and screens. So this is a very different setup than the Echo. So you've got this table that kind of moves around and it appears that this pedestal is fixed. So I don't think you can actually remove this, which is kind of interesting. The other thing I'll say is these cushions are not very comfortable. They're oh. very thin. Oh, I'm sitting on a seat belt. That's part of it. <laughs> but still, like uh, the fact I could feel that seat belt so rough, that's, that's bad. But anyway, cushions aren't all that great. Is it your favorite? Uh, here's the thing. You could always upgrade these. You yeah. Could, you could always, you know. But I mean, with the price that you're paying. With the price that we're paying, I would not want to. Lastly, here you've got this, it's not really a skylight. I mean, I guess it's letting light in, but it doesn't open. And then you also have your TV up front with your two big storage compartments here. Huge. I mean, and, I mean, I don't know. You could put a five gallon bucket in there if you needed to. It's crazy. And then of course you're on the Ford chassis. So let's show you some of the things on the outside because this has some really neat features that the Echoes do not have. All right, the first thing that this unit has that the Echo doesn't is this outdoor kitchen setup. This is pretty cool. We've got a two burner stove. You've got a Dometic ice chest wow, refrigerator. For outside? And I'm assuming this is for a trash can. But anyway, pretty cool. Very cool. One thing I did notice, it has half the propane storage as the Echo. So depending on if you're a big propane user, that might be an issue. So back here, a key difference is it's actually flat all the way across. So it's much more like wide open and bigger unobstructed. So that's interesting. And oh, you kind of got an electrical mess back there. Okay. 
and no fixed ladder. So you've got this collapsible one. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that, but that's what you, you prefer, get for the window. Yeah, you, oh, cause you get that window back here. Right. Gotcha. So this has the Nautilus water system on it. I think one cool feature is that they have the like water filter easily accessible someplace where you can change it. If it gets wet when you're changing it, it's not really a big deal because it's all inside this compartment. So that's a nice upgrade. If two really small can store storage compartments down here, I'm not sure what for that's kind of odd to me. Yeah. But maybe it's so you can access stuff. I don't know. And then you do have uh, a gas generator. So all your power needs, you're good to go. And it is on the transit chassis and it is the 350 HD all wheel drive EcoBoost. Great engine. Looks nice. All in all, this is a huge competitor with the, the Echo, I have to say. Okay, price. First time I've seen it. Oh, price. let's check that out. Wow. So their list price, this is 233. It's 73,000 off for 159.998. So this one is a little cheaper than the Echo, but it is a 24 versus the Echo being on the Mercedes chassis and it's a 2025. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, Bob, you are right. This is not that comfortable. I will say, after seeing this entire B plus slash C, small C, whatever you guys want to call it, we are okay with. I think this is the part that I don't like. Everything else, I, I really did like this one, but I, mean, I guess you, it's like a puzzle. It's like a puzzle. I don't know. I'm not a fan of this. We're gonna, when comparing the Echo and the Condor, the front seating slash table area, not my favorite. It sounds like it's not Bob's favorite either. The bathroom area, let me, let me take a little peek see at it again. I think when I think of the Echo versus this one, hmm, I kind of prefer this bathroom over the Echo bathroom, just at first glance, taken to, consideration that I've never ever traveled in either of these. I've never had to live in it. I don't actually know what it'd be like. I'd love to rent either of them or both of them. I'd love for us to rent them and actually see. But I think if I'm picking between the bathrooms, I'm going to pick this one for the bathroom. And as far as bedrooms go, I don't think there's much different. I think it, if I'm being honest, I like this window, but I wouldn't need it. I'd, I'd rather the fixed ladder on the back versus the window, the air conditioner versus the vents. I mean, this one has vents too. The other, the Echo doesn't have the air right above. So I don't know that either of those things matter to me as long as you can get air back here in the bedroom. That's all I care about. So I don't have an opinion about the bedroom. Bob, what about you? Okay, so my opinion of the bed, well, I think it has a maybe thicker mattress, but it doesn't have that like, uh, I don't even know what that called that bedding system that's underneath the mattress to make it comfortable. It doesn't have that. So it's just hard board. So I think I'm going to have to go with the bedroom of the echo as better, even though I do like the window option back here, but I'm with you on the ladder situation. Having that fixed on the back is much better back in the echo. This front situation is by far my favorite. I like the flexibility of this mount so you can, make this into an additional bed. You can lower this down to have a couch. You can have a separate table on a pedestal mount that's removable. You can turn these seats around to make this into a much larger space. So I think this I prefer, and it feels very roomy up here. It does. It feels a lot roomier in here. Is that, yes. is it, is it? No, it's the, it's basically the exact same size. So, but I think with just the layout with the refrigerator being on this side, um, I think the door is a little bit farther to the back. It just makes this space feel much larger up here. Um, there's like cup holders right here. So you can oh, put geez. this here and you can have cup holders, like an end table <gasps> kind of fit situation. Oh no, the bedroom just got more points. See, I'm all sold on this bedroom. It's amazing. I love this bed with, I don't know what this is called. Somebody help me out. What's this called? It's amazing. I love it. But. I just, I think I'm sold. 
So at this show, we found two B pluses. There was a few other ones, but they were used and we really wanted to focus on these two, one being a 2025 that we hadn't seen, the Echo, and then the other one uh, being a 2024 that we had never seen that layout. Yeah. We had never seen that in person. And so we want to show you guys and compare them and see which one we would like. Yeah. And I definitely think we found a winner today. These two B pluses had a lot of similarities and some very key differences, mm -hmm. but one of them definitely stood out to me. Yeah, me too. And we're standing in front of it, <laughs> but, oh, Bob's head's in front of the echo part, um, but it is a lot of money. Yeah, it's a steep price, but it's a great model on an awesome chassis. Yeah, and we love it. Doesn't necessarily fit our, fit our needs right now, but let us know if you guys have one. Let us know if you want one. Let us know which one you would pick. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for us today, guys. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and it really helps out the channel. Yeah. Until next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Here on the driver's side in front of the bathroom, you have your shower. With... That is a shower? Okay. <laughs> That is a shower over there. <laughs> you gotta start over. Okay. Oh my gosh. You All just right. called the refrigerator a shower. Hop in, you can get nice and clean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>